What's up guys, my name is Chris Kane. hope you're doing well, and welcome to Let's Continue Playing Midnight Train. Chapter 4 has now been released, I've been looking forward to continuing this game. I'm a little nervous, because I might not remember everything back from April when I last uploaded the, uh, Chapter 3, but we're going to jump into it. I know a lot of people have been looking forward to the continuation of this game, a lot of people ask me, when is more Midnight Train? Gotta wait for it to be released. Luna. We got Luna and Neil over here. I don't want to hide it from you anymore. It's time to tell you about my crime. I know I shouldn't have told you I should have told you sooner. Maybe you won't see me the same way anymore, but I think it's fair to tell you. The truth is that I Luna's like, I don't care. Don't you want to hear it? I guess it isn't the right time. You're still affected by what happened with Celine. It's understandable. I thought it would be a good idea to tell you before entering the last building, since right now, we don't have a time limit. But the right time will be when you're ready to hear it. Too much has happened, right? Everything is going to be okay, you'll see. Selene taught us that we should always be optimistic. Ah, the train has stopped. It's time to face the final building. They said we don't have a time limit anymore? I guess because this is the final building, that must mean that uh, we don't have to worry about catching the next train, because the exit supposedly is in here? This should be fun. <laughs> it's the last building, or rather, the last prison. I want to tell you something before we enter. Thanks for giving me a reason to keep going. If it weren't for you, I would have given up on all the other buildings. But now I feel like I have to keep moving forward no matter what happens. I must do it for you and the others. Thank you, really. Again, you know, I, I, I play these chapters after they're released, so I don't quite remember everything. But we're almost near the end of our journey, I'm guessing. For better or for worse, this will be the last time our pocket watches will reset. Let's find that stupid train. Oh, I guess we are looking for a train still. We won't allow it to judge our past sins. Neither ours nor anyone else's. Did you... Did you write something? Do you hate what the Midnight Express does? That is a complicated question. All the people I have met here have turned out to be good, to have a good heart despite committing a crime. However, the train must have also trapped many people who caused harm in the world. I can't deny that. I'm sure most of the people who ended up here were corrupt criminals without any kind of morals or goodness. Unfortunately, most criminals are like that. But answering your question, yes. I hate what the Midnight Train, Midnight Express does. I will always defend that everyone should have a fair, fair trial. Speaking of the train, there's something that I don't quite understand. If the purpose of the train is to catch criminals, why do they give us a chance to escape? It doesn't make any sense. Well, for better, we better get going before we lose more time. Time is an illusion, but that's okay. <laughs> Dear passengers, do you deserve to go to the real world? Is the train communicating? I don't know if I deserve to go to the real world, but I'm not going to let a train decide that for me. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have not watched this playthrough of Midnight Train, I highly suggest you watch the uh, playthrough. But like I said, uh, I play these 
Uh, I try not to uh, play games that are unfinished, but this one has been the exception because I just really enjoyed it. Uh, but anyway, this is Luna. She's a mute. Um, and this is Neil, who wants to be a detective. Oh, great. The room's filled with gas. I can't breathe. Damn it. Luna, we gotta get out of here as soon as possible. Why are you going so slow? Are you feeling unwell? At this rate, we'll run out of air. You must run and find a way out. Luna, what? I'll take care of this. It's gonna carry her. Did I miss something? <laughs> find a way out before Neil and Luna run out of air. Oh, already. Yeah, we met a lot of... Oh, God. Yeah, but this has been a really... Oh. <laughs> it's been a very high, uh, very high quality uh, type of story. Uh, but yeah, I thought he would stop, and he didn't. He just kind of kept going. Wait, three minutes. Uh, oh! This is going to be fun. Okay, that's not the way. Do you know the way? No, I do not know the way. What the? There's more dead ends. That's not a door. I thought maybe it could be a door. But yeah, it's getting red, not because we're getting close, but because we're dying. How foolish of me to think that. Oh boy. Which way do you think we should go, huh? Oh! Oh, why did I think that was gonna work? Not the way. Oh, I made it. Okay. <laughs> we breathed in a lot of gas. We did it. Are you okay? We just entered the building and I'm already exhausted. I imagine that this prison would be much worse. Luna. We're gonna go slow on purpose. Or were you going slow, slow on purpose? Don't tell me you were planning. No, it doesn't matter. It can't be. Let's keep going. We can't stop now. Luna, are you okay? Hopefully you're okay. Again, my memory's a little fuzzy. Can't go through here. Huh. So we have some spirits in a prison. Not sure why. Yeah, I mean, they could just go through bars, though. <laughs> okay, what is this? That's Celine? Just a realistic figure of Celine. I can't look at it, even if it's fake. Yeah, it's a character from the previous chapter. It's just a bunch of torture devices. We got a bucket full of blood. I guess not. <laughs> it's just meant to, uh... Just meant as, like, a decoration, not necessarily anything. Huh. Strange tube. Hmm. Hopefully that doesn't do anything concerning. <laughs> just gonna hit a switch and hope that nothing happened. Uh, okay, that did change this. Oh, it's locked, though. 
Okay, a two-digit password shouldn't be uh, hard. I hope not. That's locked too. Hmm. Oh! Diana, no. We need to save her. Ah, uh, but it's not real. Even if it isn't the real De uh, Diana. This is too cruel. Why are they showing us this kind of stuff? And then next is going to be that green-haired guy. I forget his name. And that, and that swell. Okay, the spirits are gone. Oh! But this... The spikes are away. So that's good, right? There's a red skull painted on the canvas. Hmm. There has to be a... Oh! 42? Wait, no. What am I talking about? No, it, it represents 5. <laughs> I thought they would represent 10 for some reason. No, that'd be 22. Hmm. I guess it's that easy. I have to say, it's a little late, but I want to try to get these episodes up as soon as I can. Okay, that was easy. Got a wooden cylinder. Let's not stand on the spikes. How about that? How do I break it? Well... Hmm. Oh, wait. No, not here. Not sure how we could break it. I thought maybe this cage <laughs> could drop on top of it, but that'd be kind of silly. Something stinks inside the barrel. Hmm. Oh... I never get tired of this game's uh, <laughs> deaths, random deaths. There we go. Do you want to use the guillotine to cut the wooden cylinder? That would make the most sense. Okay. There's a key inside. There you go ourselves the black key which probably goes to this door or the door above us yes <laughs> why is it I'll never understand why games are like do you want to advance okay this is concerning what is this instruments how to torture people and that's a red button uh oh Hopefully that doesn't uh, cause an issue. What would that do? Oh wait, did it lift the cage? Why would it do that? Oh no, it lowered the cage. I guess we'll take the disturbing skull. Not sure why we would. Not quite sure what... <laughs> Wait, is this why the bucket of blood is here? Something tells me I have to make it red. Alright, now I have a bloody skull. I have a bloody skull. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, Apollo, that's what he was. Yeah, we tried to bring him along, but his body exploded and left his eyeball on the train. That was kind of weird. place we've never been able to figure out what the problem was um okay not sure what we're supposed to do with this though i guess we'll place it on the table and for whatever reason that unlocks the door over here oh shit are you kidding me <laughs> well didn't really expect the skulls to be there Super easy, but I managed to die anyway. <laughs> oh no, now what is this? 108? Another disturbing room. There's a number written all over the place. 108. 
I don't know what that could mean. Any ideas? Luna? Is Luna dying? Does this number have a special meaning for you? She's making that strange expression again. 108. Maybe it's the date her parents died? August 10th? I have no idea. Let's get out of here. Follow me, Luna. About to watch us get separated. Oh. Oh, great. We should calm down before we go back in there. I know it must be unpleasant for you, but I think we should examine that room again. I would I would go alone, but I'd rather not separate from you if it isn't necessary. This prison's too dangerous. Let's go in again when you're ready. When you're ready though. What is uh what's this? Oh. I meant this game. Or not. Um not sure where else I'm supposed to go. Maybe we'll just go back in. What happened? The room changed. Oh, there's crypts. Hmm. Interesting. Dear Neil Lawton, why should you have a second chance? That's a question I've asked myself. My, I've asked myself many times. Why, though? They don't have a future because of you. Hmm. I can't let the train manipulate me. Did this, uh, This particular building seems to reveal the past of uh, both of us so far, I guess. No. Wait, there's something I need to examine first. Well, then what do you need to examine? Decorative artificial flowers? Hmm. <laughs> I can't look. Oh, wait, maybe he wants to look at these. These girls are... I saw them in a mirror in a previous prison. While I was with Celine, the mirror reflects our crimes. Celine saw herself surrounded by jewels, and I saw these girls. That's how I realized that I was here for my crime. Let's say that I, 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 I killed them. But it isn't that simple. I killed them, but at the same time, I'm not a murderer. It was a long story. That's why I wanted to tell you earlier. But it doesn't matter now. This building is different compared to the others. The train is trying to mentally torture us by making us remember our crimes and insecurities. Since we're about to escape, it's trying to make us surrender. But no matter how cruel this torture is, we must stay strong. I noticed that all of this is affecting you a lot. But that is what the train is trying to achieve. Don't give up. I don't know what that number means to you. But don't let that get uh, to you now. I won't let this affect me either. Let's keep fighting. Yeah. There are many books here. If you don't look, if you don't mind, I would like to examine them. There could be useful information in one of them. But it won't take me long. Meanwhile, you could examine this room. Luna. Please don't get too far from me or do anything dangerous. Hey, Luna's just gonna go around and... Oh! She can't look at books? Bottle with suspicious liquid. It's probably ink. Don't drink the ink. Uh, there are several woodworking tools on the table. Anything I can grab? Not sure why there's a bunch of garbage on the ground. 
Oh, more 108 everywhere. Hmm. Metal plate on the wall. The word incinerator is uh, written on the door. And <laughs> she's like, hmm. Uh-oh. Wait. Oh, no. <laughs> Neil's like, what did you just do? Luna, where are you? Don't tell me. Damn it. Luna. Luna, this is very careless of you. <laughs> Why did you go in there? It doesn't matter now. I gotta get you out of there. But how? I don't know how to work this thing. I'll find a way to stop the incinerator. I promise. Just hang in there. Oh, thanks. Thanks for the hint. I don't know. I don't know what to do, though. Oh. Yeah, none of it seems useful. Do I need to... Oh, wait. Hold up. Suspicious liquid? I guess I'll take it. I got poison? Not sure how that's supposed to work, but I do have a screwdriver. Yeah, that is a screwdriver. What about this? Anything? Anything in the box? Should be... Yeah, I shouldn't have to worry about that, actually. Oh, my God. I have apples? Wait. Found in the third prison. Oh, wow. Yes, I would like to remove the metal, suspicious metal plate. What's it say? Do you dare look under the bookshelf? <laughs> I have no choice. Under the bookshelf? Here I go. What the hell? I d do I have time to go down here? I guess I do. Help! <laughs> what the hell? A teddy bear. It's wearing clothes similar to yours? This is a representation of that day, there's no doubt. I must stay strong. What is happening? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing right now. There's a kitchen. And I came here for a bear? Oh, I'm a coward. Would a coward do this? Oops, I messed up. What am I supposed to do? I am so clueless right now. There's a... Oops. No, I don't want to read the note. I accidentally misclicked. Oh, I have a gun. Uh, poison. Can kill a living thing. Oh, man. I don't know. To... Is there anything over here? What is this? Nothing in the pond. Nothing in the vase. I, I have no clue what to do. Oops. I guess? I... I am so confused. Nothing in the vase. No, I can't poison the tree. Like, what do they want me to do? I, I'm hanging a bear. Like, what, what does that do? What does that do for me? Ah, uh, this is confusing. I didn't even know that room existed. Uh, there has to be something I'm... Oh! I'm supposed to go through garbage? Rotten fish? Oh, man. If I can figure this out in the five minutes, I'm going to be really surprised. I, there was a mini game before in this uh, game that was like this, where I just didn't know what to do, but I ended up figuring it out. It's making you go through some kind of crazy crap. Rotten fish. It smells really bad. I guess... Okay. I'm gonna take the flowers. And now, I guess... Oh my god, I don't know. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to bring up... Oh! 
Yes. And then put the rotten fish in the water? Yes? Did it work? What? No, probably not. Nope. Something else I'm missing. Oh, what? I'm so confused. I... I can't... Okay, I can't leave there. Oh, man. I feel like I'm so close, but I don't know what... Oh, this... Oh, oh wait. This unlocked. What is this? Oh. Okay. I must reunite with Luna. I agree. Thank goodness you're fine. I thought I wouldn't be able to save you this time. I was so worried. Why did you go inside the incinerator? I'm too tired. I can't think clearly. I need to get some rest or this building will end up killing us. You should rest too. Being inside that incinerator must have been stressful. Let's sit there. Do you want an apple? They're the ones Celine gave us. They probably don't taste very good, but at least they will help us recharge our energy. Hey Luna, are you afraid to know what my crime is? I don't know what image you have of me, but I would like you to know who I really am. I want you to know because I appreciate you. I know it's difficult to hear the truth sometimes, but we must accept it. Are you ready to hear my story? I'll try to be brief. We don't have much time for stories after all. I guess it all started when my parents died in an accident when I was little. We were walking through an area under construction and the foundations began to collapse. My parents used their bodies to protect me and I managed to survive. Since then I started living with my uncle. My uncle was a sinister man, nothing like my father. But he was the only family I had left. We had a very weird relationship. We were like two strangers living in the same house. We hardly ever spoke. The situation was difficult, but one day, everything got even more complicated. How boring. What should I do? I'll make it brief, goes into a full flashback. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Everything I do is useless. My face still hurts. Why did they have to punch me in the face? I hate going to school. I don't want to go to that place anymore. Ever since moving here to live with my uncle, I, I couldn't make any friends because I'm always sad. They're always laughing at me. I don't know either, kid. So cruel. I guess it doesn't matter anymore. I'll just let them beat me until they're tired. It's better that way. I miss my parents. My uncle is scary. He only talks to me to say that I'm a nuisance. Nobody cares about me. Why did my parents save me? I wish I had died with them. At least then I wouldn't be all alone. I want to disappear. There's a full moon tonight. How beautiful. I adore the moon. I could spend hours looking at it. The dim light that shines in the darkness of the night. I wish I could reach it. I wonder if that's possible. I only see darkness. Will I ever find the moon that will light off my light? I could keep reading that astronomy book I borrowed from the library. The universe is so big. Maybe there is a place where I can be happy. I'm too hungry. I don't think I can concentrate. Lately, my uncle only gives me two pieces of bread to eat. 
Now that I think about it, it's already dinner time. My uncle must have left my food at my table. Maybe today there'll be decent food for me. I should go to the kitchen before he throws my food away. Where's the kitchen? Huh? This time I only have a piece of bread? My uncle has a lot of food on his plate. How unfair. Should I tell him? But I'm not supposed to talk to him. Excuse me. Has there been a mistake? There's only one piece of bread on my plate. I've been very hungry. Could you give me something else? Neil Lawton? What is the rule you must meet to live in my house? I shouldn't talk to you or be a bother? Correct. I feed you every day and you even have your own room. If it weren't for me, you'd be at Steamfront's orphanage. I bet it'd be way better. And yet you dare to complain. You should be ashamed. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Wow. Okay. But my useless brother died. I knew I would have had to take care of his son. You're just a nuisance to me. That's why I don't want to talk to you or spend money on you. But unfortunately... I'm obliged to take care of you. Is he going to send him to school in rags? Like, what the fuck? Tell me, Neil. Can you remind me what you are? <laughs> I am... Alright, this is... Someone pathetic, miserable, useless. I'm glad you still remember our last conversation. Yes, that's what you are. Pathetic, miserable, and useless. Just like your father. That's what everyone thinks about you. Repeat it one more time. That way you'll remember it better. Empathetic. Miserable. Useless. Again. Wow. At least you know how to obey. Hope you're already thinking about your future. Yeah, it <laughs> the future's looking very bleak, but yeah. Oh, once you're at legal age... I won't let you stay at this house. You're just gonna kick him out. You can't leave your room. Now eat your bread, do you understand? And don't ever talk to me again. For real though, if you're being treated like that, you need to go to child services or call somebody. What should I do? Gotta call child services or something. The police? I can't sleep. I'm too hungry. I need to eat. It's already late. Maybe my uncle's already sleeping. I could go to the kitchen and eat something without him noticing. Just a little bit. Oh boy. I'm about to say, like, with this flashback, I was like, watch there be like a puzzle. <laughs> it might be like a stealth mission, I don't know. Is he down here? He's making very loud noises with his little feet. Did you bring the money? Not yet. Please give me more time. I hear two voices, but one of them is my uncle. It's coming from outside. Should I look through the window? I think they're arguing. Oh boy, I don't know. Where's the window? Oh, there's the window. Look at the baguettes! Touching my spaghetti. No, I'm kidding. Oh boy. Is he a mobster? 
I just got done watching The Irishman. Now I've waited long enough. At this point, it would benefit me more if you were dead. Dead, please. My family still needs me. Put the knife away. Oh boy. My uncle just killed a man. No, 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 no. I have to go to my room. He'll kill me if he sees me. I don't know if I'm on a time limit, but I'm going to assume I am. My god. This can't be happening. Nobody will take me seriously. Everyone just laughs. <sighs> no one believes someone like me. If I try to say something, he'll kill me. He'll kill me. I don't want to be here. I don't want to live here. Dad, Mom. Save me. I don't know what to do. Moon, I need your light. I want to escape. Somebody help me, please. Monko was the main suspect of that crime, and he was investigated by police. However, they didn't find any conclusive evidence to convict him. Only my testimony could have been helpful. But when I took the stand to testify, I lied. Well, you were just a little kid back then. I said I didn't see anything, and my uncle was found not guilty. That was my crime. Perjury. Unfortunately, my story doesn't end here. My crime had dire consequences. After the trial, my uncle ran away and abandoned me. My neighbors decided to take me in. They were kind people who took good care of me, even though I was always depressed. During the years I lived with them, I started to feel a bit of happiness again. But several years later, I saw an article on the front page of a newspaper that surprised me. Two sisters were murdered. The main suspect was my uncle. And like, just like the first time, there was no conclusive evidence to convict him. But I knew he was guilty. I am also guilty of the death of those two girls. If I had to hold the truth... If I had told the truth when they interrogated me, the first murderer, my uncle would have been convicted and those girls would still be alive. I killed them. I killed those girls. And they're dead because of me. I decided to go and search for my uncle, so that I could confess to the police what I saw through the window that day. I wanted my uncle to pay for it, but someone found him before me. Black Gear, the organization that kills criminals who haven't been caught by police. Because of Black Gear, I couldn't make my uncle pay for his crimes the way he truly deserved. My uncle will never feel the pain and guilt that I feel. That's why I can't forgive Black Gear. Since then, I have been secretly investigating the organization. I decided to become a detective because I wanted to be someone who reveals the truth. I don't want to hide it anymore. I want to capture criminals like my uncle and prevent more suffering. I know it's ironic, but it's the only way to make up for the damage I've caused. That was my story. Sorry for it to be a little long. Luna? What's wrong? Why are you looking at me like that? I didn't think it would shock you that much. Is that the letter you wrote earlier on the train? Are you adding something else? Luna, I don't understand anything. What's up with you? You've been acting really strange since we arrived in this prison. I think we've had enough rest. It's time to keep advancing, I guess. It's interesting. I, I don't know what's going on with Luna, but uh, I'm going to end the video here. So I hope you guys are looking forward to more of uh, Midnight Train, and I will see you next time. Peace out.